the next one, which we also hear quite often, is that monorepos don't work for polyglot situations or for microservices. Without separate repositories, maintaining clear ownership and technology choices seems of often quite impossible. And we're used to having a full granular control per project where we can design everything from the scratch or, or design the square wheel from the scratch for every single new project. We also tend to group in different clans. We divide into different language or framework clans. And we naturally assume that multiple programming languages and frameworks just cannot coexist successfully. But the reality is different. In monorepos, each service can have its own build, its own runtime, its own deployment pipeline, as if it was completely separate repository. And teams can restrict access to their libraries, their projects, preventing unauthorized dependencies. For example, DNX application contains TypeScript, Rust, Go, Kotlin, and Python. And we can use the, the repository-wide conventions and dependencies where they add value and define per folder toolchains where they don't. The key is that monorepo can provide the standardization, but it's optional. So we can always bring those benefits without forcing the uniformity.